I'm dead. God damn, should I be dead? Yeah. Oh my god, should I be dead? Fuck yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Kuja the Paragon and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about matchmaking in Rogue Company. So what is matchmaking? Matchmaking is where it's supposed to balance the game against players so where you're not overpowering other players and other players are not overpowering you. You're all on the same level, the same playing field, and you're all about all on the same skill level. So the question is, do we feel that matchmaking in Rogue Company is exactly how it should be? And my opinion is no. It's not. I feel like matchmaking is still kind of a bust in this. I feel like after three seasons going and we're still running in some matchmaking issues, I feel like there needs to be a little change or at least something that needs to figure out that needs to happen because obviously we're not getting what we want. All right, so why am I ask, why am I saying this and why am I saying that matchmaking needs to be changed? Well, I'm going to use my buddies, for example, just because we like to play a lot together. Me, Griffin, Dirt Lord, and Coe Reed, when we all run as a four-man team, we usually end up playing against players that are 100 to 200 levels higher than ours. Which absolutely makes no sense. We should be playing people that are exactly our level, which is like 140, 150, 160, 170. So in that area, we're all in that area. None of us is 200 yet. But yet we're playing as 243 or 253 or 300 level players. It just doesn't make sense there. Why are we playing against such high level players? And we're like, it's not that we're struggling. It's just like the game plays are more intense obviously because there's a lot more communication going on and people's aims are a lot better people are just higher level players usually tend to perform better and that's what's happening we're just p performing on a higher level and we're fighting higher level players but does that mean that we still should be matchmaking against these players absolutely not because is that is that their way of rating skill level because i last time i checked they couldn't rate our skill level for the bots you know, when we're supposed to go AFK, they were supposed to price with a bot with our skill level, and that didn't happen. So, how are they tracking the skill levels for matchmaking? Are they just going by levels? Because if that was so, then we would be playing against players that are our levels, not players that are 300. So, in this gameplay today, sorry I broke off from that. So, in this gameplay today, I'm actually running with Alpha Dog today, which his level is like level 40 something. But still, it's not low enough to where I feel like that these two players that are on our team should have been playing the way they were. These guys look like they were defaults. They literally just came into the game and started learning the mechanics that day. So, again, what, why is this being brought up? Because this is the part of matchmaking is like, why is this happening? Why is these two low-level beginners being placed in a matchmaking lobby with me and Alpha Dog? Why are we getting placed with these players that still don't know what they're doing and they're still learning the controller? Like, that's where you should be putting these guys in lobbies with their own levels. Like, for sure. Like, for real. Like, the level 2 guy should be placed with level 2 guys. Or somewhere in that area. At least, like, a 20, 25 level facility. Not, I would say, I wouldn't say, like, 50. I feel like that's a stretch, even then. Um, I feel, again, I feel like 25 difference is fine. That way, they're still learning the controllers. They're still learning the mechanics of the game. Nobody's getting overpowered than the other. Again, it, it gives them time to learn. So, again, here's another issue with matchmaking now is why is these new players getting placed against higher level players? Aren't you not trying to promote new players into the game? Are you not trying to get them to play? And if so, why are you putting them up against players that are way higher level or know what they're doing? Why is it that you're not placing them against players at their level so that way they're actually getting a feel of the game, they're actually able to learn the map, they're actually able to learn the little the peaks and, and crannies of the whole place so that way they're not getting stomped when they actually get into a game of higher level and they start playing against higher players and higher skill levels. Like, Why is it that you're just putting them out and right into the middle of the gunfight and expect them to to want to play, enjoy it, and come back. I just don't understand that because, again, that's 
all you're doing is hurting them. You're hurting your new players that are coming in trying to learn the game, and they're just getting stomped by all these people that have been playing the game for, I don't know, how long the game's been out, or six months since the game's been out, either a longer time than these new players have. I just don't understand the, the thought process that hi -res is trying to make with matchmaking so that they're... Play, their new players and their veterans can enjoy themselves because again the, I feel like matchmaking is a bust right this oh moment God, and I feel like it needs to be uh, it needs to be a little more compact with a leveling system or something I don't know how they have the leveling system set up like are they matchmaking people within 100 levels of one another or 200 levels of one another how is that working there's no direct like things saying what is happening to the matchmaking system. All we know is they got a matchmaking system and it's supposed to be working. So y'all tell me in the comments section down below, do y'all feel like the matchmaking system is a bust? Do you feel like the matchmaking system is absolutely where it needs to be? Or do you agree with me? Do you feel like it's hurting the new players that are coming into the game, trying to learn the game, and they're just coming in against all these veteran players that know what they're doing? And vice versa. Why is it veteran players running into new players? Like, why is it players that are performing on a certain level not playing against people on that certain level and that level only? Why is it they're, they're it's so across the board? Like, one minute... I'm playing a level 300 the next minute I'm playing against yes. bots why is it so why is the matchmaking so you know like why is it not like why is it not so compact why is it so expanded why is it so far out I don't understand so y'all be the judge of that y'all tell me in the comment section down below if y'all been enjoying the videos and the content that I make please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel I'm constantly trying to update more videos and more gameplay tips or just gameplay all together and yes, guys, I'm going to cut straight to the video, and I hope y'all enjoy. Peace. I don't know. So, you got the bomb. I don't know. You decide. I'm going to be the sniper and do what I do best, and that's play back. I'm going. I'm backing you up. We got it down. See? Uh, good job, unisex meal. Can confirm. Go ahead and plant it, homie. Oh, he's dead. Don't worry. Are you down? Oh shit! I'm coming. 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 I got him though. He's down. They're all there. Don't worry. I'm going to revive you first. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, jumped off this bitch. They're going to go guard A, it looks like. Scorch ran to A. Oh my god. Right here, man. I wish our team stopped sitting fucking back there. They're not snipers. I'm the sniper. That's why I sit back there. Retards. Do something besides walk around the backfield. They're, that's exactly what they're fucking doing, man. Because they're not, they're being re fucking retarded. We've been wiped out. Run it again. I'm not even gonna give them the chance that I'm even make them think I'm stopping. See, they're just sitting back there again. I'm probably dead. God damn. I did! 
I got him though. I got him though. Don't worry, I, I'm an axe thrower, so it's all good. Oh, and behind us? No, they're both dead. I'm dead too, probably. I'm dead. I fucked up. I shouldn't have moved up. Oh! <laughs> Please stop. Don't go up there again. They are. They're going to go right on up there. Come on, guys. All right, they're coming. No, they're not. They're going right back up there. mad at these two fucking dudes right now. Hey, guys. Will y'all please run with us? Instead of sitting in the backfield, please. You are so fast. Guys, can y'all please run with I'm us? So I'm gonna say your name. All right, I'm going to fucking A. <clears throat> I heard that question, lady. Did that ball me up? Why are you worried about what kind of money we have? You should be out. I'm just gonna sit here dying. So now instead of helping us, you're just gonna teabag, dude. Just fucking leave then. Instead of fucking being a problem. Hmm. No. I already hours. carried y'all's fucking asses and now you're gonna fucking be little bitches because y'all don't want to cooperate. Yeah, exactly. And you're just not gonna play at all. Alright, fuck better. you too. They're all going B. Push. Don't push. No, 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 no. Just stay close. Stay together. That's what they want. Yeah, what that's in the actual fuck? Why am I dying? Fucking demon. How are you just gonna take my character just to stand in the fucking back, bro? Thanks, man. You was a great fucking not help! Feel good to have four kills on the bottom of the leaderboard, dude. Must have felt good. I'm going back to party chat. Cause fuck them momos. I don't know. I know I'm mad because that was my best. Man. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're